Well, as you could tell, it's Halloween. So welcome back to Creepy Places in New England. I'm a ninja, and I'm Charles, and this is Steve. Hey, he, guys. He didn't dress up like at all. Um, we're in the dark, partially because one, it's a little spooky, and two, we had a nor'easter, and we don't have electricity, as you can hear the people in the background with their generator, which we don't have. So, anyway, we're going to deal with a controversial thing on Halloween, me as a ninja, is uh, the Ouija board. Uh, Ouija board, as it's properly said. There's a lot of controversy on it, and we're going to see, is that controversy just a bunch of hoopla, or is there something to it? Does this, is the board used to, can you really communicate with spirits? Right, Steve? All right, Charles. Um, Charles? Uh, this is Steve. I'm actually doing the filming right now. That's, I don't think that's me. Uh, you might want to ask him to take off the glasses. No, no wonder. Jeff, I thought there was something. I thought you looked a lot younger than you should be. <laughs> the Ouija board, sometimes called a spirit board, is a game that allows users to communicate with spirits. The board itself is marked with letters, numbers, the words yes, no, and goodbye, and various other designs, and comes with a small planchette that spells out the words. The ideas for the board goes back to the Song Dynasty of China, around 1100 BC, to an ancient form of auto writing known as Fuji. The Fuji used a suspended tray to guide a stick to create Chinese characters and symbols in sand or ashes, and authors such as Shen Kao and Su Shi associated his origins with summoning the spirit Zigu, also known as the Purple Maiden. However, the board that everybody is familiar with came into existence on May 28, 1890, when businessman Elijah Vaughn filed the patent for the board on behalf of Charles Kennard and his associates. The patent issue date was recognized on February 10th, 1890 as a novelty item. An employee of Kennard named William Fold took over the production of the board, but in 1901 he began making his own board under the name Ouija, which caused conflict with Kennard. Kennard claimed it was he who came up with the name Ouija when a board session with Elijah Bond's sister-in-law, Miss Peters, spelled out the name, but Fold claimed he created the name by combining the German and French word for yes. The production and patent disputes continued between them and many others, resulting in the filing of many lawsuits, but in 1966, after Fold's death, Parker Brothers acquired the trademark and patent rights for the Ouija board. You're moving it. No, I'm not. You're moving it. You're moving it. Would you just quiet? I'm trying to concentrate here. And I'm not moving it. You're moving it. In the beginning, the board was considered a harmless parlor game until World War I, when spiritualist Pearl Koran linked it to the occult and divination. Today, religious and New Age groups warn that the Ouija board is a dangerous tool that could lead to possession and that is an instrument for the devil. This concept additionally has been popularized in Hollywood movies. Me too. No, you don't. I do it all the time. Oh yeah, well let's both put it. David? Are you here? Can you hear me? However, not everyone believes the Ouija board operates by spirits, but scientists claim the movement of the plachette is caused by the ideometer effect. This effect is when the subject unconsciously creates movement himself. Many occultists, though, dispute this claim. Is it a supernatural tool, or is it all bogus? So, our first Ouija board session featuring Charles Reese of West Fork, Rhode Island. And Steve Morrow, Creepy Places. You're, there's a place called Creepy Places? Yeah, and it says it's, it's a mystifying oracle. Okay, so um, we're going to work, do this. We're trying to give you the board, so we're kind of have to like, you know. And 
I just say, let's just get started. And um, ignoring any humming noises that might sound like there's someone singing, that's actually the gas. It's actually pretty cold in October. Yeah. October. So. But we do want to say we have the uh, K2 meter up. And we got a DVR right down here. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's see. Um, I just say just try to use as less fingers as you can, like just two. Yeah. Not like two, two, two each. All right. Um, I guess all we can say is, are there any spirits here? Sometimes these things take a while to work. Oh, and if you hear anybody laughing, that's Mr. John DeMeo behind the camera. All right. Okay, anyway. Um, spirits, could you let yourself be known? Could you move the... Stylist. Yes, that. Six. Six. Why? Are there six of you here? If there are six of you here, go to yes. Or if there's not six of you here, go to no. Do you not want to talk to us? Ignore the John factor in the background. Six nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh now. Sorry. sorry. H. Be you. Is it H U? H. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could be. So here, okay, watch this. Here's what you do. In case you don't understand it, see this little thing right here? You move it over corresponding letters. Like, so say your name was Carl. Go to, you go to C, A, R, L, and you can take that's, your time. That's moved on purpose, you can Well, tell. that's moved on, that's <laughs> moved on purpose. Um, I have a personal question, um, just because I know the former owners of this place that we're in, and we have had some activity here. Is your last name Pike, P-I-K-E? No. Is there something that you need to tell us? Off again. Put it back in the middle. Um, Do you have unresolved business on this earth? Okay, I want to write the yes. Can you tell us what it is? Or 
try. You. You? Is it cheese? Is it cheese? Is it Steve or Charles? Go to C for Charles, S for Steve. Make it easier on ya. <laughs> See? <laughs> Do you know me? Go to yes if you know me. Go to no if you don't know me. I know, simple. Is that yes? What's the first letter of your name? Could you give us that, please? Yeah, I'm not even looking on the board. I'm just not moving it. W. Are you a relative? A relative of mine, that is. Yes. Hmm. Um, have I ever met you? Back to yes. Okay, um, could you give us a second letter? Oh, it was a scat, it was a cat, it was my beloved little baron. Um, are you around me all the time? Or do you, like, go away, you know, to, like, see my sister or something? Or, ooh, magic cat. That was a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? One, two? Yes. Okay. Can we, um, can we play a little game with you? It's a yes. It's a yes. Okay, so hold on, don't go anywhere, okay? We're gonna close our eyes, cover our eyes up, and John is gonna hold out something. Um, you know what? You can also hold it out in front of the camera. But yeah. we gotta cover cover our eyes up completely, Steve. With your hands. Alright? Just let us know when you're done. Is it in the back of your pocket? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Did you see what was in John? What John held out? That guy right there. <laughs> Did you see what he held out? Held out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Do you know what he has in his pocket, though? K. K might mean okay or it might be thing. Could you spell out what it is in his pocket? K E. Um, Alright. E. E. Why? Do you have a key? No. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, I'm, I'm only touching hey. it. I'm not. I'm lightly touching it. Hey, look, look. It's the Valley Breeze label. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anyone here that would like to contact us, either John or Steve?
If you're here, just move the move the, this thing that we have our hands on. All right, let's go mystify ourselves again. All right, I'm back. Um, did you miss me? Did you like it? Do you like it when I'm doing the um, the board? Why? Well, thank you. I like you too. <laughs> that is such a pull. Wow. <laughs> No, uh, noting this is the first time I'm doing this, so. Um, are you my cat again? Or are you someone new? Um, go to your, you're the cat for, go to C for cat and for new. New. Someone new. Is, is there a particular reason why my energy seems to work better? Is it because... I'm sexy. Please don't move. Please don't move. Stand. Yes. Stand. I, I don't know what to ask. Is there something about me that makes it uh, spirits easier to communicate? It just moved to yes. It did to yeah. yes. Um, can you tell us the reason why? Were you trying to Were you trying to tell us earlier? If I had trouble. It's not moving, so I'm gonna to have to say yes. Yeah. Um, could you tell us again why? What is it about me that makes it easier to use? Oh. See? See? Right? Oh, there's a tug. It, it's the last one was blank. Wow, that's crazy. E. Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, wasn't that. Uh, oh, you look spooky. Yes. Wasn't that just exciting? I'm Charles the Ninja. Steve. Someone. I may have. And this is uh, John who dressed up like Steve. Hello. Hi. I so, think I make a better looking Steve. No, you don't. Um. So we're gonna we're gonna this we're gonna use this opportunity to talk about what we thought of the Ouija board, um, being that it's all Halloween and everything. So, um, Steve. Yes. What do you think of the Ouija board? I thought it was pretty interesting, actually. We made contact. So you think it was we were contacting spirits? Yeah. Do you think it's dangerous? No, I think it's actually labeled as dangerous, and so therefore people carry it a bit too far. But uh, the spirits we contacted, there was nothing benevolent about them. Hmm. It's a big word. Steve John? too. Steve too. So what do you think of the well, Ouija board? The Ouija board it worked. Um, my first time using the Ouija board, and it is it's a hell of a pull. I'm telling you, um, I've never had a pull like that before. It's trick or treat. It's a weird feeling. Oh, you're serious. It's not like how somebody else is pulling it. Like, you know, you can have that feeling when somebody else is pulling it, and you can feel somebody else is pulling it, but it was like a different kind of pull. It was like somebody had their fingers in the middle of the spirit, had their fingers in the middle, almost like it, pulling it from themselves. So, yeah, I've, you know, I, I don't really think it's bad. I just think 
people tend to think it's bad because the way other people use it. But I think it's pretty good. I actually used that on one of my new shows. And uh, I, I'm not going to say anything about it or if it moved or not. But um, they, they do work and they're, they're very fun to use. But, you know, then again, like I was saying, you, you use it for a good purpose and it's all right. Just some people just tend to make it look bad because they use it for the wrong ways. Going back to what you were saying, I know when I was using it, I was just holding it lightly. Definitely was not stirring it in a, one position or another. In fact, a lot of times I didn't even look at where it was going to kind of predetermine or something like that if my mind was psyching my own self out. Yeah. That was a good one. Well, me personally, I do think the EDO meteor effect does go into play. Um, I thought some of the stuff might have been, I might have inadvertently moved it and not realized it because I know some of the stuff I was thinking in my head kind of like came true. But some of the responses I definitely think were spirits. I think most of the fears of Ouija boards is a bunch of hoopla mm -hmm. caused by people who want attention. Not everybody. I think some people have like legit concerns, but I think generally, like with anything, it doesn't work most of the time, but I think it does work some of the time. Do you think that if we made up our own Ouija board, um, you know, with our own letter patterns the way we wanted it instead of A, B, C, D, you know, um, that would still work? Can you use ninja stuff? Sure, you can. Okay. Um, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do too. I think any way that Ouija board, you know, anything, even if you could just put blocks or even if you lay down chalk on a piece of concrete during the nighttime and had just like a piece of block on it, it, it probably mm -hmm. still move. Yeah, anything, any way you're contacting spirits, it's, spirits are going to try to contact you no matter what. It's kind of like dowsing rods. You know, dowsing rods used to be sticks that people used yeah. to pick up in the woods. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now their dowsing rods are known as those metal pieces with the L shape, you know, that uh, you have to hold. Mm. Well, I thank you. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you. I thank me. And John, thanks for being me. Oh, oh it, w it was a pleasure and it was fun. And I want to say we all wish you a happy Halloween. Yeah. And we hope that, unlike us, you guys got your electricity back after the freaking Nor'easter. Way to go, Rhode Island infrastructure. Still say I make a better Steve. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I do. I make a better ninja than both you bitches. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.